and welcome to this learning video. As you know that we have started with the topic fitting of curves. In that we have seen fitting of straight line, fitting of parabolas, fitting of exponential curves and also fitting of power curves. In the last learning video we have started with the fitting of power curves and we have seen an example on it. Here in this learning video also we are going to take a different power curve and we'll see how we can fit the given data into the power curve. This question says fit the curve y is equal to ax power b for the given data. So some data is given to you. So as you know that the very first step of the working group says write down the power curve to be treated. Okay. And identify the unknowns that we have to find out. So let y is equal to a b to the power x be the curve to be treated where where a and b are constants are constants to be determined to be determined so first step of the working rule is over now what is the second step second step says take log to the base 10 on both sides taking log to the base 10 on both sides on both sides we get so what I will be getting log y to the base 10 is equal to log of a into b r x to the base 10 now apply the property on here that is log of a into b is equal to log a plus log b and we have seen this property so many times we have applied this. So this is log bar to the base 10 is equal to log a to the base 10 plus log b power x to the base 10. Okay. Now here you can apply log of a to the power n property of log here and you can write log y to the base 10 is equal to what is it? This is log a to the base 10 plus log x log b to the base 10 and which property we have used here? Log of a to the power n that is n log a. Is it okay? Now what you can do is write down this in terms of capital letters that is y is equal to a plus x b where what is this capital y this is log y to the base 10 what is capital a is log a to the base 10 and what is b b is log x sorry log of what is b is log b to the base 10 right now after this we need to write down the normal equations so let us write down the normal equations so normal equations are how many normal equations you will be getting here two yes answer is correct too but how can you justify your answer you can justify with the help of constant two constants two normal equations so a and b coefficient of a is 1 coefficient of b is x so multiply this equation by 1 take the summation so we will be getting y a b x then take summation this is summation y summation 1 is n this is summation x okay then multiply this equation by small x and take summation so this is x into capital y a into x plus b into x square and then take summation. We always take summation on 
variable x and y not a constant. Okay, say this is to be equation 2 and this is to be equation 3. So how many data are given to you? 5 data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number of given data, the number of given data that is n is equal to 5. Now you know what will be the next step? We have to find out these values of summation y, summation xy, summation x and summation x squared with the help of tabular calculations. Okay, so in the tabular calculations you have already seen that I have made a table and here I have substituted the values of x and y. Now I want you to pause the video for a minute. Try to find out these things and also the value of the summation and then resume the video. So I hope you might have done these calculations. Are you all getting the same values? Yes? Well done. Very good. So if you are getting the same values, now you can substitute these values in equation 2 and 3. You will get two equations, then two unknowns, A and B. Ideal condition, you can find out these values. So equation 2 implies what is equation 2? This is summation y. So 11.5833 is equal to a n is 5 plus b summation x. Summation x is, where is summation x? This one. 6, 4, 10, 10, 20. So summation x is 20. So this is 20 b. Okay. So this is to be equation 4. Likewise, equation 3 will imply. What does equation 3 imply? Yes. Summation xy, that's 47.1247 is equal to A. Summation x, summation x is 20 plus B. Summation x squared, that is 90. So we have two equation, two unknowns. Find out the values of A and B. Now after solving equation 4 and 5, you will get the value of A to be 2 and value of B to be 0 0.07915. Okay? But we are not interested in this A and capital B. We are interested in small a and small b. That is what we want. Okay? So you can make use of but a is equal to log a to the base 10 and b is equal to what was that log b to the base 10 right so you can now substitute these values like a is equal to 10 to the power a that is 10 square so that is a is equal to 100 and here you can find out b is equal to 10 to the power b right so what would be 10 to the power b 10 to the power b would be 10 to the power 0 0.07915 so this comes out to be 1.1999. So after getting the values of this A and B, you can substitute the values in equation A. That would be the required best fit for the given curve. So let me write it nicely. So equation 1 becomes y is equal to, what was that, y is equal to a, a is what, 100 into b, b is 1.1999 power x, okay, and this is the required fit for the given data. So I hope the things that we have taken in this learning video 
is clear to you and for any doubt or for any queries feel free to contact so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you